Peppa Pig and the Lost Christmas List. It's almost Christmas and Peppa Pig and her little brother George are mailing their letters to Santa. Peppa's friends are there too. What are you asking for? asks Peppa. I'd like a scooter, says Susie. I've asked Santa for a toy spaceship, says Danny. A toy mouse for me, please, says Emily. Rebecca wants a trumpet. Zoe has asked Santa for a ball and paddle toy and Candy is hoping for a jump rope. Pedro would like a guitar. The next day, Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George go to Miss Rabbit's farm to find the perfect Christmas tree. They look at little ones. Bigger, says Daddy Pig. They look at medium-sized ones. Bigger, says Daddy Pig. They look at the biggest tree at the farm. Perfect, says Daddy Pig. The tree is very big. Daddy Pig's car is quite small. No worries, I'll carry it home, he says. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig wait a very long time for Daddy Pig. Finally, they see him coming slowly up the hill. Daddy Pig needs a rest. It's time to decorate. Mummy Pig puts the lights on first. Pepper adds the garlands. George hangs some Christmas ornaments. Then Daddy Pig reaches way up high to put a star on the top. The tree is beautiful. Pepper sings a Christmas tree song. Little star on the Christmas tree, twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. All the little pigs on Christmas Eve go oink, oink, oink. Daddy, asks Peppa, why does Santa come down the chimney? Why doesn't he just use the front door? Good question, Peppa. If you see him, you should ask. But Santa won't come unless you're asleep, so up to bed you go. George, let's stay awake all night and see Santa, Peppa says. But George is fast asleep. Well, I'm going to stay awake by myself. Soon, Peppa is fast asleep too. Thump! Ho, ho, uh oh, it's windy up here. Santa checks his list and then squeezes down the chimney. It's a tight fit. Santa is surprised to see two little pigs. It's me, Peppa. This is my little brother, George. I am very pleased to meet you, says Santa. Are those our presents? asks Peppa. They might be, but you'll have to wait until morning to find out. Santa, how do you know what presents to give everyone? asks Peppa. Well, I have a list. It's right here. Oh, it was right here. Oh dear, what has happened to my list? I've lost it. How will I know who gets which presents? I can help, says Peppa. Danny wants a toy spaceship. Emily, a toy mouse. A scooter, please, for Susie. Rebecca would like a trumpet. Candy wants a jump rope. Zoe asks for a ball and paddle toy. And Pedro would like a guitar. Thank you, Peppa Pig, says Santa. You remembered everything on the lost Christmas list. You've saved the day. I must hurry now. Santa looks up the chimney. Hmm... I guess I'll have to squeeze up there again. Why don't you use the front door? asks Peppa. By golly, what a good idea! Ho, ho, ho! On Christmas morning, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig wake Peppa and George. Daddy, Mummy, we saw Santa, says Peppa. And look, he left us presents. George has a toy train. Peppa has a yo-yo. Peppa's friends arrive. They got the presents they asked for too. 
Merry Christmas. Thank you.